Hi there. Welcome to The Menu. And The Wine List. With Chef Weisler. And Beverly McKenzie. We have ordered duck a l'orange. And the question is, what to have with duck a l'orange? Well, you know, it's interesting. Here at Chateau Lynn, they serve the duck a l'orange with a few things. It's served with a creamy polenta that uh -huh. has a little bit of brie in it. Uh -huh. There's also some kale that's been braised. Okay. Braised leeks. Ooh. So you have these different greens, and then we have, and there's a lovely spice rub that's on the duck breast. Mm. So, wine wise, mm. I'm thinking. I want something what? spicy. Something spicy, mm -hmm. but it needs to have some oomph and body. Mm -hmm. White or red? Well, if the dish is going to have a little bit of sugar in it, mm -hmm. my perception is that when uh, a food has some sugar, it makes the wine taste drier than the wine already is. Right. So I think there's a better pairing for us if we look in the realm of white. White that has a little bit of some sugar and bright and ripe fruit. Or, yes, I think it doesn't necessarily have to be sugar, but it has to be really bright, vibrant fruit that's up front. That's one of the earlier tastes that you actually get. So that's that. starting to talk to me. Riesling is starting mm -hmm. to talk to mm -hmm. me. Um, Gewürztraminer. Mm. Gewürztraminer, because you, mm. you had the spice element that I like, you mentioned. Right, that was the first thing I mentioned. And I, so I think Gewürz would be a great okay. call. I think Gewürz is where we want to go. Or rosé champagne. Well, let's do Gewürz today. Rosé champagne sounds great. <laughs> sounds great, because that would go with the duck and the spice and everything. Hey! Wait a minute, we love so, Kathy. So Kathy Corazon. Uh, her wine, uh, Gewürztraminer, is called Corazon. Um, the grapes are from the Anderson Valley in California. I think that would be a great pair. I think so too. And I think what's working in our favor is that it's an 05, so it's just that little bit of bottle age. So it's ah, not going to be too racy and great. tight. I think it's going to express itself love in a really loving, giving way. I think we know what we want to order. Yay! <laughs> so Corazon, great winery from Napa Ooh. Valley. This is a nice 2005, so it has a little bit of uh, maturity, some elegance. It's not just strictly r roses and flowers. I've got mm -hmm. some d elegant petrol, but not heavy. Well, what I think you, you like this so much, I saw how it jumped out of your glass it there. It leapt forward. <laughs> so I think there was something, it's food. something very lively about mm -hmm. this. Mm. Tropical, mm -hmm. elegant, no residual sugar. Well, just a hair. It comes off with really, really nice fruit to it okay. and a really nice sense of spice. Okay. So, and I really like that the acidity has very nice texture. I think it'll be able to work with the midway texture of the duck a l'orange. Yeah, it'll go, it'll go great with the, the citrus flavors that are in here are going to go well with that orange dish. Cool. So, I think I see it it's coming out of the corner of my eye. Awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, that's And great. perfectly prepared medium rare duck breast. Awesome. Amen. Yeah. So we have some other fun stuff here. So this is a great little polenta dish. It's going to have some nice nutty flavors. And then we have the braised greens. The polenta over here, and then the duck all orange sauce, and it just smells wonderful. You can, you can smell just a little bit of that Grand Marnier, but it's not heavy. It's not a potent high alcohol sauce. Well, I'm so seduced right now, I can't wait. I'm going straight for it. And I'm going to try it too. And first, just trying the duck. There's a lot of different elements on this plate. So this particular pairing is a wonderful opportunity to try flavors individually and see how they go with the wine, mm -hmm. and then to try them collectively and see how they go with the wine. Because you can even taste the gentle spice that's on the crust of this duck that he hmm. sears in the pan. How does it go with the wine? So the duck, act, the duck and the wine alone mm -hmm. gives the, the, the wine a sense of a little stronger personality. It gives it a little mm -hmm. more oomph. So it actually makes the wine feel a little bigger than it is. And the I duck has such a nice texture. So they go really nicely that getting way. Getting honey qualities now mm -hmm. from the wine. So I'm going to play here now with the greens. Actually, I'm going to go, what, what did you say was underneath the Oh, duck? this is a creamy polenta. Awesome. So I'm going to try the, the polenta and the greens and the sauce. Together? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So. Really nice. rich? It has a beautiful quality. Okay. Um, I mean, the sauce is just like a beautiful marinade on the greens. Mm-hmm. And the grain just lifts it. The, the grain gives it a little more weight. Ooh. So see how that pairs up with the wine. It has a nice nutty lingering finish too, which I'm going to theorize mm -hmm. is going to bring out floral qualities in the wine. Absolutely. Yeah. There's floral, fruit, and spice that now all come out in the wine. It brings out the juiciness in the wine. Completely yeah. different experience. Almost like two completely different wines that are coming from the same plate of food. So it really changes it, it dramatically. Almost made, it makes the wine seem younger. 
Yes. It takes some of that bottle age out of it, that yes. silky roundness, that honey quality uh -huh. we just had. Yeah. Now it's this vibrant 08. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it gave the whole wine a, a different sense in terms of its freshness and vitality. Absolutely. That's great. So we have fennel, and then what is the fruit on top here? I'm oh, not sure that it's fruit, but we have some um I some stuck leeks. all around. This is leeks. This is this is leeks. These are braised leeks. Ah, got it. Mm, so now we're gonna have a savory Actually, no. bulb family flavor with the wine. I know this is duck all orange. I was looking at the oranges, the way they've been prepared, and I was actually thinking it was something else. Oh but, yeah, no. because they segment them first, so there's no pith, there's mm -hmm. no rind, so that takes a lot of that bitter tannin out of the dish. You're just left with the sweet fruit mm. of the orange. I'm just gonna try this one straight away with the uh, braised leeks. Mm-hmm. Turns it into Sauvignon Blanc. Mm hmm Yeah. Makes the wine really fresh. Really crisp, crisp, like boom. Where we had the diversity of flavor when we did the polenta and the greens, and we had this kind of spicy diversity. Here, just with the with the braised leeks, the wine comes off like Sauvignon Blanc, and just very direct. Yeah. So I'm going for one more. You can go for one more. I'm, I'm going to combine everything. Oh my. So I want to see how this whole orchestra of flavors. But I could see how we pair did kind of the wine. right thing with our wine pairing for this food because when you have a dish that has some. Some deliberate sweetness because this is mm -hmm. a sweeter orange sauce, <laughs> and then you have <laughs> and lots of greens rich, to play with. Here. Yeah, lots of greens to play with. Uh, a deliberately sweeter orange sauce. We have a, a rich, hearty duck, which is you know fattier, foul, mm -hmm. and rich, creamy grains. You need a wine that's going to be in, be able to interplay with all of those things. Commercial mm -hmm. meter is a natural go-to wine for that, especially one that has a little bottle age, so it's not too bright and high acid. It has a little bit of playfulness in it. How did you pronounce that? Oh, I did almost add my German flair to it. You, you did. It's, well, and so I'm, domestic I'm, I'm playing with my food here. <laughs> and so I typically end up pronouncing it Gewürztraminer because, you know, I've taken some German as a child. But mm -hmm. yeah, so, but mm. you could just order it in a restaurant as Gewürz even, and the server should know what you're talking about. You could drop off the end. But okay. what's fun about Gewürztraminer for food pairing is it has floral components, it has some tropical food flavors, and yet it can have so many different qualities to match with food that it's not boring at all. Mm -hmm. If you think the is boring, I'm sorry. The flavor combination of all the flavors on this plate with this wine is an orchestra. It is fantastic. It makes the wine sing. There are flavors, floral qualities, mm. spice element, juicy finish. The whole, I, I think the real, the, the beauty of this wine is shining based on this culmination of flavors that are on this plate. This is an extraordinary pair. Yeah. And, and uh, a marriage made in heaven. Wow, this is a really great discovery. A beautiful relationship with wine and food. So have fun discovering more great relationships between wine and food at a restaurant near you. Right. Cheers.